Animation now is bigger and better than ever, and no one is more stoked about that than loyal film festival programmer Malcolm Turner. This year, Malcolm gets to fill five different international programs with the best animated shorts from across the globe. The opening screening has it all. The bold, the beautiful, and the what the f*** did I just watch? You know, favourite of mine in the festival this year, Velo Drill. It's an Estonian film, and it's 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 all about you know people holding up a, a, a pair of scissors in a stadium and cutting in half a, a bicycle that's riding around an oval in front of them, maybe four or five hundred metres in front of them, and that bicycle is suddenly cut in half. You know, I mean that that's that's the exact kind of material that we that we want in these programs. The second international program features the beauty of black and white animation, which proves that imagination is not reliant on colour. A lot of those imaginings are dreams. For example, the film You by David De La Fuente, black and white film, is they're all about really not quite random, but a very mishmash of ideas that, he, that came to him in the middle of the night as the result of some life experiences that he was having. The Asia Animation Review showcases a heap of creativity from Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, and China, like Go to City Eli. You know, it takes the time it needs to develop its story. You get to meet the character and you get to kind of understand what that's all about. I did like, I've got to say, that, that kind of fantastical element about, you know, the, the, the helicopter kind of bus device kind of, I'm very attracted to that, I thought. Even though computers have taken over almost every single aspect of our lives, there's still plenty of talented animators who exercise their craft by hand. One such artist is two-time Oscar nominee Cordell Barker, whose puppet film, If I Was a God, features in this program dedicated to handmade animation. You know, what he's been able to achieve with that film is a level of mastery of, of you know puppet animation that people have been working with puppet animation all their lives have never been able to master. It, it talks about somebody that just fundamentally understands how to make something move. The Dark Arts program also makes a return after an impressive and disturbing showcase in last year's festival. Animation is is very very good at taking you know really bizarre ideas, strange ideas, dark ideas, things from the middle of artists' hearts and minds and putting them up on the screen. One such film, Blind Vaisha, follows a girl who can only see the past in her left eye and only the future in her right, leaving her blind to the present. It was great catching up with animation programmer Malcolm Turner, and we didn't even get time to talk about Indie LA and 66, which are also playing as part of animation now. There's heaps, heaps more to check out, so grab a physical program, visit nziff.co.nz or, you know, flicks.co.nz for festival news, interviews, tips and info.